the idea here is that what people know already and they are doing is where they have what is called sustainable comparative advantage. Mm -hmm. And therefore, if you want to industrialize, you start with what they know best. You start with what they know. You start with what the environment serve as against importing a knowledge that sometimes they cannot adapt. And uh, this one is an easier way to start and does not require much resources because they're already doing it. And that's the basis of this argument, the, paper, the, the hypothesis of the paper. It's called inclusive industrial growth, the role of institutions for lo local knowledge. We can bring knowledge from outside, mm -hmm. or we can develop the ones we have. Okay. The, the state of things in Africa is that we have what is called technological pluralism. It means that we have dual type of knowledge. So there is transformation going on in both sides. The only problem is that only maybe 20% of the Africans can understand the imported technology. So if you really want to move fast and make it inclusive, you need the 80% that do not understand. And the idea here is to emphasize what the 80% of the population, which, because they are not educated, should not be considered unintelligent. And therefore, my argument is that, look, go look for the 80%. That might be faster than the 20%. Okay. Yeah.